Hey everyone and welcome to Let's Talk Dividends. My name is Ian Robertson and this is the very first video that we are presenting. Now today I want to talk about two stocks, preferably one that I am very bullish on and I will be personally buying this week to add to my portfolio. One is a dividend stock, one isn't, but both of them have huge potential for growth. Now the first one I want to talk about is Aston Martin. Now, Aston Martin have a, a troubled past. Over the last few years they have failed for bankruptcy multiple times, but recently they have been bought into by billionaire Formula One owning tycoon Lauren Stroll. Now him and a consortium have paid over 500 million in stock and he has taken over the reins. So he has brought in Mercedes AMG Tobias Moyers. Now this guy took Mercedes AMG from an engine manufacturer to their own brand. If you look now, you get Mercedes-Benz and Mercedes-AMG. He is that good. He leads with an iron fist and I think that is one of the reasons he has been brought into Aston Martin. Not only that, but they will be taking over the Racing Point team next season. So you will have Aston Martin Formula 1 team. You also have the James Bond movie coming out at the end of the year. So with these three things combined, plus the new billionaire ownership, I think there is serious potential for Aston Martin. They can see the difficulties that they've had, for instance stocking the showrooms way too highly and having stock lying without anybody purchasing, so now they're reducing that down to orders only with a few surplus of cars. Also, they're constructing a new £32 million factory for Aston Martin Racing. At the moment they do not have the budget to fight with Ferrari and Mercedes at the top of the line to make them into that global superstar brand in Formula 1. But over the next few seasons Formula 1 is introducing multiple price caps to stop teams from overspending. This will allow them to become super competitive as long as they get the components of the team right. Now with that, with the new ownership, the new leadership and a new structure for their business, there is serious potential in Aston Martin as a stock and as a growth company. Now they are currently trading in London at just over 50 pence a share. I'm at 57 pence a share. So I've lost a little, but I had made a good profit which I cashed out on a few weeks ago, so I'm quite happy. But recently buying the dips, I'm at a good price and in a good place going ahead for the future. Now if you don't feel this stock's for you, don't buy in. I would never recommend a stock. It is your choice and your call. Me, I am all in. I can see the advantage with this stock, I can see the future with it, so fingers crossed it goes the way I'm looking for. Now your second stock is Gap Clothing. This is a brand I would never have considered, but just recently you probably have seen that Kanye West has signed a major deal with the clothing line. As part of this deal, Gap expects to sell over one trillion dollars worth of stock in the next five years. If they can hit the numbers, that is a major growth stock. Not only that, but they have a dividend yield of just over 8% at this moment in time, trading at around $12 a share. This is one that I am now putting money into. I never would have, as I said, but I feel the time is right. And with Kanye West getting on board, he can turn this line into whatever he chooses it to be. If he wants Gap to be one of the highest branding clothing lines, he can do it. Look what he does with his music, so he has the potential to turn this brand around. So I'm getting involved. I have a brand new dividend portfolio looking to make 10k. So this could be one that can help me a lot on the way to that. A massive dividend yield and with Kanye West backing, this stock could take off. It's not guaranteed as all clothing brands, as all stocks are. But if there is a recipe for success, this is it. Kanye West backing you. He turns things to gold. Now as this is my first YouTube video, let me explain what I'm going to be doing in this channel. I want to be growing a brand new dividend portfolio to 10,000. That is going to be some high risk stocks in there to do it quickly, but I'm also investing smaller amounts as I want to show people that everyone can invest. It could be a small percentage of your wage every month and every week. That's the way I'm going to be doing this. So there will be higher risks involved with some more secure industries. So please, if you can, hit that subscribe button to show your support for the channel. I will be uploading videos throughout the week on stock market news and uploading a new video every Monday on my portfolio. So thank you for watching today 
and I hope to see you next week.